In order to live in a CBR, contaminated atmosphere, an individual must be able to put on his protective mask in nine seconds or less. This is the M17 protective mask. When it is issued to you, be sure it fits. Proper fitting prevents leakage between the face piece and the wearer's face and allows the mask to be worn comfortably. Combinations of different sizes of face blanks and nose cups provide sufficient face piece sizes to properly fit all personnel. By trying them on, select a combination that will fit you. To fit the mask, loosen all head harness straps to within one inch of the clinch tips. Hold the voice emitter outlet valve assembly with one hand and press the face piece firmly against the face. Center the head harness pad on the back of the head and hold it in place with the other hand. Remove the hand from the voice emitter outlet valve assembly and tighten each of the forehead straps. Tighten just enough to remove the slack. Adjust the straps by rapid jerks rather than a steady pull. Adjust each cheek strap until both are moderately and evenly tightened. Remove the hand from the pad of the head harness. Using both hands, adjust the temple straps to a moderate tightness. If the straps are too tight or each matching pair are not equally tightened, they may cause discomfort or a leak may appear around the edge of the face piece. At this time, if the mask has been properly fitted, the pupils of your eyes will be near the centers of the lenses. Next, press the palms of the hands firmly over the inlet valve assemblies blocking the air inlets. Inhale normally. If the face piece collapses against the face, an effective airtight seal is indicated. If the face piece does not collapse, a leak is indicated, and the straps should be readjusted. If the leak continues after adjustments to the straps, the mask should be exchanged. Once the M17 is properly fitted, you must learn to put it on as quickly as possible. Nine seconds is the maximum time that a trained soldier should require to don his protective mask. Before the soldier becomes that proficient, he must drill and drill and drill.